Everybody broke his back to make sure that Dean looked good. Everybody. That's the effect that he had on that, on that crew, on that staff, on that cast. Oh, that's a weird sound. Yup. <laughs> Makes me nervous. <laughs> What makes them do that? Oh, lonesomeness, maybe. <laughs> or calling for a mate. I can't take that no more. Isn't there any way we can stop that sound? I'll stop it. Telling you doing a dance all wrong. It's skip, jump, hop, skip, jump, hop, skip. If you guys don't listen, you'll never be on the Sullivan Show. Hop, skip, jump, hop. I tell you, California lies right over that mountain range. I say hitch up the wagons and let's move on. I don't know. Those mountains could be full of Navajos. Well, we won't know for sure till Shorty gets back with Ward from Fort Culver. I hope it's soon. The woman folk in the wagon train are getting mighty restless. Here comes Shorty now. With, he's back from Fort Culver. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I reached Colonel Sanders. He sent this message. I guess you know what this means, don't you? I know what it means. One of us has got to learn to read. <laughs> Please try to understand, Father. I do not wish to live on the reservation any longer. I'm going to live in the big city. You choose to leave your own people? Don't you see, Father? I'm a college graduate now. I do not wish to live in this backward culture any longer. There's a modern civilization out there, and I intend to become a part of it. I cannot give you right to leave reservation. Permission must come from tribal chief. Oh, oh great chief. My son Cochise want to leave reservation and live in big city. Every night he will go to topless nightclubs drink heap big much fire water, and stay out all night with wild girls. What you say to that? Uh, take me, take me. Give me my boots and my saddle. Apart from the great city's rattle. Give me my ranch and my cattle. And all the 